Hey Alex, pigs are gonna fly tomorrow morning. You know why? Why? I saw a good Nicolas Cage movie in 2016. Oh god. Then why are you filming me? Because I have no more ideas for an intro. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Stubmasters Reviews, and today I'm here to review the new Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood thriller. The Trust. Now, I didn't really know what to expect going into The Trust. All I knew was that it was some sort of crime thriller, but I was interested because I knew that Nicolas Cage was attached to the project. You know, he either hits it, or he misses it, or it's just crazy, but either way, it's always fun to watch. And you also had Elijah Wood, which is a really good actor. I liked him in the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, and he has had his good performances on and on. He's a very timid actor, but he has a good charm about him. So the trust is basically about two bad cops who find out that money is funneling somewhere it's not supposed to be. And when they find the location of this area, they decide to devise a heist to break in and see whatever valuables are inside. Now, the trust is a very interesting movie, and I definitely have a lot to say about it, but let's jump right into the pros. The two best things about this movie, right off the back, are Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood. Nicolas Cage plays a subtly crazy cop who's always really, really enthusiastic about everything he does, and he's highly motivated. On the contrary, Elijah Wood is very timid, he's broken, you can tell the guy's been, a, been through quite a lot in his life, and he's just tagging along with Nicolas Cage to possibly get some money out of this. Now, the next thing I have to say about this movie is that it has some great suspense in it. In terms of the heist itself, that's definitely the best part of the movie. You never know what's around you. Every corner, you're always holding your breath. You never know what the character is going to do next, because even though that Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood have good chemistry, their ideologies are definitely conflicted, and you could see either one of them turning on each other on a dime. The next really great thing about this movie is that it has an awesome 1970s soundtrack that pays homage to the cop uh, shows and films of the 1970s. It kind of reminded me of Starsky and Hutch a little bit, and I thought that was a nice artistic touch. The last great thing I have to say about this movie is that it has some beautiful cinematography. It has really dark shadowing in some areas, but the way it frames its characters and some of the uh, shots of important objects in the movie really draw you in and I felt like I was a part of this world as opposed to just watching it through a screen. So the first hour and ten minutes was excellent. I was really looking forward to see how this story would conclude. And when it finally concluded and everything unfolded, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. The tension was riding up pretty much till the end, but the certain choices characters make uh, and the reasoning for those choices, I thought, could have been clarified much better than they actually were. I think some people will love the ending and some people will hate it. I kind of found myself in the middle. The last thing I want to know on here before I jump into the score is that this movie isn't for everyone. As a matter of fact, generally this is not my type of movie. This is a very uh, art housey movie and as a matter of fact, the best way I can just uh, relate it is that it's very similar to the film Drive. And if you're an art house fan, this is a really good treat for you. So all in all, The Trust was an entertaining thriller and definitely the best thing to come out of Nicolas Cage's or Elijah Wood's career in quite some time. It had a ton of suspense, the cinematography was beautiful, you had some great performances from Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood, and the music was really cool and just got me in the mood of the 1970s. Which is why I'm going to go ahead and give The Trust a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So guys, how would you like the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our really cool channel if you haven't already done so. You can also check out our really cool merchandise, which unfortunately I'm not wearing today. It's in the laundry because I wear it so much. You can get that stuff at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters. I'm Jonathan from Stubmaster Reviews. Have an excellent day.